Have you always lived um, here in Rome? No. Okay. So you haven't always lived here. So tell me a little bit about how you ended up living here in Rome. Oh, Lord. Um, when I was little, I was born in Birmingham. We moved with my dad's job to Mobile, Alabama, and then to Vicksburg, Mississippi. And then when I was in the fourth grade, we landed here in Rome, which was devastating. And then, um, <clears throat> and just now I've been here ever since. Okay, so do you have any idea about, like, when you moved here to Rome, about the time that you moved? I was in the fourth grade. Okay, I don't know so, what the year that okay, was, 1980 okay. something. Okay, so you moved here in about the fourth grade. All right. So, <clears throat> um, obviously, I'm I'm not from Rome either, so I'm from a really, really small town and um, moved to the county right over from here once I got married. Um, right now, my current ha housing situation is that we um, actually rent our home from my husband's grandfather, um, and it is a um, uh, it's a single family home um, that is brick. Um, <clears throat> so, would you mind telling me a little bit about the type of home that you currently live in? It is a single family home with vinyl siding. It is four bedroom, two bath. Um, it is roughly 2,200 square feet on 3.4 acres. Okay, for, for that home, do you know roughly when you moved in? 16 years ago. Okay, 16 years ago. Very good. Okay. And now, you do you rent or own this home? I own this home. Okay, so you are a homeowner. All right, wonderful. Um, my next question is going to be, do you have rooftop solar for your home? No, I do not. Okay, so you don't have rooftop solar. Um, tell me, why do you why do you not have rooftop solar? And did you make that decision, or was a decision made for you? Well, rooftop solar was not even a thing back then. So, <clears throat> I mean, it was a thing, just not a thing for the general public. Um, it was prohibitively expensive. <clears throat> I did build my house um, with my yeah, I built my house. But um, it was a decision I made, but it was not a conscious decision because it wasn't even something that was on the market. Okay. So it really just wasn't an opportunity that you yes. had really at that point. Um, so basically from that, um, if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So why, why would you do that? <clears throat> I mean, if it was determined that I could get enough solar to even do it because it pays you money back um, on your energy bill if you produce enough energy. It would reduce my power costs. I'm an all-electric home, and so it is. it would benefit me greatly. Okay. So you do see that there's a benefit of um, oh, absolutely. rooftop solar. Okay. All right. Um, what, I, what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of look at these maps that we have here. And I'm going to hand you a pen. Okay. Um, and first, what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to hand you um, a picture of the United States. Okay. So here's a map of the United States okay. there. And I, what I want you to do is take that pen there. And where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes? So in the United States, where do you think that you, they have the most rooftop solar? And kind of draw I, that on the map. Am I circling it? How, how, whatever you want to do. Okay. All right. So, what do you think um, that community that, that you circled there, which is pretty much California, I mean, is kind of where yeah. you're, where you've targeted there. What do you think makes that community so different from people here in Rome? Oh, let me count the ways. But as far as solar energy, they have more sunlight. Um, it would probably be, there are a lot more people that are interested in alternative energies in California. Um, solar energy is a big push over there, whereas in the Midwest you have more of the wind energy, the wind turbines, and over there they would have more of the solar, in my personal opinion. Okay, all right. Um, so let, let's talk about now, let's talk about Georgia. Okay, so here is a map of Georgia. So, in what community in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their home? Does anyone in Georgia have solar on their, <laughs> on their home? I mean, I don't know. That's a toss-up. 
And it can be more than one. If you think that there's several different areas, that's fine to select those two. Does anyone in Georgia have solar duck power? I'm sure they do, but as far as a community having it, that seems like something that would not be... I mean, maybe in a rural community where s several people, like that was their thing, or a commune. <laughs> I don't really mean a commune. Yeah, I do. Um, maybe in Atlanta. Okay. I haven't seen any personally, but now there is a, well, but that's not rooftop solar. It's off to the side. Yeah, I don't know. I have no clue. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> so you said that, you know, maybe in Atlanta was kind of, kind of what we got, got from that. So, so what do you think the people there in Atlanta, like what makes them different from people here in Rome? Why, why would you say that they have... Um, rooftop solar. They generate higher incomes. They are in a city environment where it would be, <clears throat> in my opinion, it, it would the burden of cost would not be on one person. It may be on a building, like the apartment building that people live in, or the city building that the office building that is there, and that's something that they do. Um, but it, the burden, the financial burden, would not be on one individual. It would be spread across others whereas in your rural communities it would have to be the weight of the the financial weight would fall on to the individual okay that's that's pretty pretty interesting as far as that observation there um now we're going to kind of talk about most of your close friends that you have here in georgia um do they have uh solar on their roof no okay so why do you think that they don't one because there's not anybody I mean, it, there's there's no marketing being done for solar rooftop. I mean, if that was a thing and there was a company here and they were advertising well, people would probably consider it, but there's not. And I don't know of any solar rooftop companies, like anybody that would do solar roofing. Um, so it's just not even something they're even entertaining at the moment. Do you think any of your friends would be open to rooftop solar? Oh, absolutely. There are a lot of people that I know that would like to go as what most people refer to as off the grid as possible, simply because it would be less expensive. Hmm. So. Very good. Awesome. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add before we end today? Please make solar rooftops available. That would be awesome. And solar streets. I saw the solar paving. I think that was really cool. Hmm. Awesome.